I live in Brooklyn and teach in Brooklyn. Um, I want to talk about Delta Math. Uh, I talked about this the first time two years ago when we were in LA. And it's this fantastic online system for for, saw, for <laughs> coming up with homework assignments and review assignments for different things. Um, well, well, that's getting, that's okay. Okay, well, that's getting figured out. Uh, you can all log on to, you can all go to deltamath.com, but you'll need to create an account. It's great because the accounts are free. Um, there are right now currently about 900 different modules set up for different topics. There we go. Great, okay. So, uh, so this is generally what it looks like. Um, I'm going to go through the website real quick just to create an assignment to show you kind of the amazing stuff that you can see as quickly as possible. So at least it doesn't kill me. Sorry, no, you're good. Um, so this is what it looks like. These are all the different topics. Um, like I said, they just unveiled a new, or Zach, the guy that created it, just updated it this year. So it looks nice and it's a lot easier to navigate. Uh, you can search by topic. So they have middle school, common core, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and calculus. So I teach algebra two, so let's just look at what they have available for algebra two. So, uh, for example, systems of equations. That's something my kids struggle with. So, when you click on that, there's a list of different problem sets, for lack of a better word. And if I click on this one, say, linear systems in three variables. So what's awesome about this for kids is that there's a problem, um, they solve it on their own paper, and then they enter their answer in. And, let's say, I don't know what the actual answer is, so we'll just make this up. Uh, three, four, Five, because they submit the answer. That was wrong. <laughs> Good. Um, so it shows them the solution. It shows them exactly how to do the problem. So what's awesome is, as they're doing these homework problems, as they're doing this practice, they get instantaneous feedback about how it's going. So they can see here, you know, they can look through the steps and see what there is, and then they can see what the final correct answer should be. Um, so then, the next time, if they're like, oh, okay, I see what I did wrong, I have to go back and fix it. Some of the modules, I don't think this one, but some of them also have videos that the kids can watch to help walk them through how to solve the problems, which is fantastic. Um, what's really nice is when you're trying to create a assignment, so I can create an assignment, name it whatever you want. He's now up, uh, instituted the way to, so it doesn't have to post immediately, you can set it to post at the end of the day, or at the tomorrow, or something like that. That didn't used to be in the old system, and it's really nice now. You can spend the time making an assignment and not have to worry about it going live. Uh, we talked about adding skills. There's a couple other options. Um, I'm not going to go through it, but they have a timed skills, if that is your thing. So if you want to just build fluency, um, I know some of us feel very strongly about that one way or the other. Um, but you can do that. Uh, they also have mixed problems. So for example, if this, this solve quadratic linear systems, there's three levels of that. If I just want kids to have a mix of different levels, I don't want them just to focus on level one, I can create a mixed problem that has all of those in it. But what's super powerful about this, in addition to the fact that kids can see what they get, is that we can see what they're doing. So, for example, right now we have all of our rising sophomores doing a summer assignment, and it tells us how far everyone's gotten. So we have a couple overachievers who are already done 100%. School doesn't start until September 7th, so um, some of those kids are super on top of it. Uh, this student is taking your time, which is totally fine. Um, what's nice is I can come over here to this plus sign and see exactly how they're progressing on each of the modules inside the assignment. So I can see that combined like terms doesn't seem to be giving her any problems, which is great. Uh, multiplying and dividing fractions, she seems to be struggling a little bit. And then, if I really want to see why she's struggling, I can click on here and see what her answer was. So it tells me how long it took her to solve the problem, which is super useful. And then I can see her answer was 1 and 19 over 81, so maybe she's, she's using mixed numbers and she should be using proper fractions, that kind of thing. So it gives me instantaneous feedback. There's also a live problem log that tells me exactly what I need to know as we're going through. Um, so I can see, well, who's working on this right this instant? I think we looked at it earlier and there's a kid working on it this morning. So like, Omer is doing it right now. Um, he's working on power, uh, exponential rules. Okay. So it's really live. It's great for office hours because kids come in and just load this up and then go. 
and it's fantastic because I can see exactly what you come with. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to add when I went to use it and I read about um, it on Julie's blog, and um, I tried to get information because I'm at a middle school, so everything has to be COPA compliant, and there was no mention of that on their site. So I talked to our tech people, and they contacted Delta Matt, and once our tech people contacted them. They were very positive. Our district was very positive about me using it at the middle school level. So I just wanted to, I don't know if they've updated their site with that information at all, but that was a huge plus for me to use it. I, I don't quite know what COPA compliant is, but. Um, if, if you're, there are certain sites that I have to have parent permission for if you're under 13 years of age, which is huge at the middle school level. And if you're one to one, I do think that raises a great point that Zach, who creates this, he is a classroom teacher. He's in the classroom right now. Um, not learning this instant, but he teaches. Um, he's super responsive to everything. If you ever send a bug report, he'll get right back to you right away. Um, he's on Twitter. Uh, I took him to a, through the MidBoss like two weeks ago. Uh, so it's at Mr. Delta Math. Um, so if you ever have questions, you can just tweet at him and ask him questions. This year he's teaching pre-calculus and calculus, so he's going to be buffing up those sections if you teach those courses. Um, geometry is on his list, but he's getting there. Um, I think that's everything. I don't want to run over time, so... Yeah, yeah, one quick thing. Uh, there's a lot of people who are suddenly finding themselves teaching uh, computer science next year. He's also at, he's also teaching AP CSP this coming year, and he's adding in programming practice to the same. Awesome. I know. Uh, <laughs>